It looks like we're gonna start off on Oceanville. One, nice Thunders, Chubb versus Red Ranger and Jose B. Uh, personally, uh, I think Thunders has great neutral. His neutral is amazing. I think possibly that could be a big factor in this match. But at the same time, I wouldn't. Um, I think um, Jose B, Red Ranger. Yeah, that's that's the team right there. I like the way they're spacing. Both teams are kind of playing for um, the center of the stage at the moment, but it's like red team's got a little more covered up. <clears throat> oh, nice nair by Dennis. And Jose V trying to finish it off. A nice reversal. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, Jose. Ledge cancel too on the platform over there. I like that. Ooh, red. Coming in at just the right moment, red always manages to just kind of just land the final blow and knock everybody out. Look at that. Wait for the right moment, just the right moment. There you go. That's what I like about um, Red Ranger personally, is that his movement is amazing. He makes Gandorf look like Falcon, but at the same time, just like the way he comes in, it's so unexpected. It's so in your face. It's just, it's just right. But Thunders, oh man. Thunders isn't exactly a player I'd like to fuck with either. find another commentator, someone who, um, someone who good, probably a little better at this than I am. <clears throat> Won't be too long. Ooh! You know what? It's those moments that make doubles and smash. When, um, everybody is all coasting it together like that, that's when players' true skill comes through because you can see what each individual character does in a sticky situation like that. All right. All right. So we got Red Ranger and Jose versus Thunder Chubs Rays. and Thunders. Yeah. It's Chubs. There's an S after Chub. <laughs> you stickler, dude. <laughs> oh no, it's his tag. That's true. His That's tag's got to be correct. That's true. That's true. Dude, Thunders, Thunders neutral is amazing. I've been watching this entire game. Oh no. Okay. Uh, Douglas got the kill onto Red Ranger, but then Thunders grabbed him yeah. from the. Knockback, but then Chubbs is still able to confirm it after Thunders to Red Ranger. This is still doable for a blue team right now. They're at a very big percent disadvantage, and if Ganon hits either one of them with a fair or a back air, like it, it's pretty much gonna be done for that stock. So oh, yeah. they they have to be very wary of either getting uh, getting hit by a stray attack from Red or getting grabbed by Jose. Oh, and there's the fair from Red Ranger. Fair. And there's the back air. That's gonna do it. My God, you're a prophet. That happened exactly what you were saying here. <laughs> well, I was just saying they needed to avoid those in order to win those. Yeah. Mm. In which it looks like Chubbs is like, oh God, Thunders is dead. How can I do this? And then just ate a back air. Can't go on alone. <laughs> 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 That's right. Uh, we got Teals on the mic now. Are you playing doubles? I am not playing doubles. No? Because... Oh, wait, I told you this already. You're right. <laughs> Don't listen to me, guys. Don't listen to me. Okay, we're going to PS2. I really like this because both Donkey Kong and Zelda are a lot more likely to kill off the top than Ness and Ganon are. Ness and Ganon love to kill off the sides. Oh, yeah. Um. <clears throat> Sorry, I like... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> nah, I, I, um... Oh. 
Oh, ooh, there we go. I'm trying to think of the win conditions for blue team to win this because one problem that DK has in, do in doubles is that most of his punish game is gaining a grab and then like operating like just like carrying carrying like uh, juggling people with up air and yeah. like finishing off with a fair. But in doubles, you don't have time to do that. No. So you got to go like straight hits here and there and try to use your partner to help help yeah. you combo. Because if you're trying to juggle like you do in singles, one second of vulnerability and you're dead. It's gone, you know? Mm -hmm. Especially if you use your double jump to try to continue that punish, and then the other teammate comes and hits you off stage. You're like, oh god, I don't have a double <laughs> jump, and I'm off stage now. Especially when you're like DK, who, if he just if he just has his up B, is like, oh gosh, I am screwed out here. Yeah, and you no, know, you see that so many times, even in professional play, you still see that like so many times. It happens. Um, it's just something that people don't really look out for unless you're paying attention to the game. When you see people playing doubles like mindlessly, that's what you see happening. Because they're not they're not sticking to the respective characters, you know? Zelda recovery is very difficult to edge guard. Especially in doubles, because you don't have time to actually just completely focus on her while she's trying to recover. Her biggest weakness while trying to recover, there are two things. One, there's like there's quite a bit of startup on up feet. So when she's starting to teleport, she's vulnerable that whole time she's trying to teleport. So you want to hit her out of that. The second one is when she tries to teleport from the air to the ground, she has quite a bit of end lag. So you want to try to punish that. So either look for hit her before the teleport happens or hit her after she lands. Both of those. It's basically want to edge guard like she. Oh, yeah. And that's when um, that's that's when the heavy hitters come in. If you could perfectly target exactly where she's gonna land on the ground, if she's coming from the air, that could be instant death for whoever's playing the Zelda. Mm -hmm. Like usually characters like that have like really long ranged uh, recoveries. Like two characters in here, we have Ness and Zelda. The it may not be as good in singles, but when it gets to doubles, they start becoming significantly better because one because the main thing is their recoveries take a while. Oh, yeah. So you can't yeah. just sit at the ledge, babysitting the ledge, waiting for them to come back when there's another opponent on stage who could easily disrupt it and turn it around. It's it's definitely better to um, in my opinion, I like letting the Zeldas off back onto the stage. Not to give him stage control, but to let him back on, because on the ledge, it's a little more tricky, you know? All right, but we have Thunders in a 2v1 situation. This is, this is the best of three. All doubles matches at the balcony are best of three matches. So if Thunders can't clutch out this 2v1, they will be sent to losers. NorCal, this winner run will be over. But Thunders, he, he just needs to keep poking back and forth between the two. He can't overcommit. Like, you, you can't go for a grab. That is why. Because the moment you go for a grab, the other person is just going to come in and just hit you. Mm -hmm. And you won't be able to get anything off the grab. So you just got to... Like, Thunder's have to keep hitting with Ooh. backers. And here we go. Thunder's able to get confirm the kill onto uh, Red Ranger. And now we got the run back from Big Bout. Where, in this situation, last hit, last stock. <laughs> and they just went like to like 140% each of them. And Jose was just barely able to clutch it out. But it's whoever basically gets the grab first. This oh. should be a fair. Or up air? That's oh. going to do it. We're going to game number three. Thunders. Very nicely done to clutch out that 2v1 right there. A little bit of disappointment on Jose and Red Ranger's face right there. I, f I think they, they might have um, they might have been seeking to close that out a little earlier than that. But they might have overreached on a little bit on those last fares and those last grabs. Ooh, PM singles are starting. We need to go check out Bracket. <clears throat> no commentators for a uh, little bit. <laughs> Hello, people. I will commentate for a hot second. I think they are, they are not starting it. Hey, this court. I'm trying to figure out who Fleek is fighting real quick. Because I did not put that in. Let's see. Fleek is fighting Taskmaster. Now we know. It is Task. That'll be the first match we see for singles. Taskmaster. There you go. 
But, but anyway. Looks like we're getting right back into doubles here. This is going to be game three. Winner of this will continue on to finals. I don't think anybody else is on the other side of winner's finals right now. Ooh. This is an interesting stage choice. Maybe we should have that. <clears throat> anyway, this is an interesting stage choice. I know, in theory, Ganondorf is great on the stage in singles, being able to, like, do chain grabs, but doubles isn't really, like, the place for chain grabs. Where Ganondorf shines in doubles is definitely in, like, being the hard hitter, finishing off the stocks. As mentioned earlier by Teal's, like, at high enough percents, a stray, like, a stray fair or bear by uh, Ganondorf will just kill you anywhere, basically, on stage. <clears throat> They also have DK who kind of has that similar... Ooh. There goes Zelda. Where are we at in stocks? Yeah, we're relatively even. Both teams have one high percent person and one low percent third stock person. And Teals is coming Ooh. back. I'm right back. Just saw Bracket. I get a buy first round. Hell Yo, yeah. Yo, let's go. And I most likely get to play Kenny first. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, I bet he's real happy about that. <laughs> Very happy. For those who don't know, one, Kenny doesn't like me. <laughs> doesn't like me. <laughs> and two, he hates, he hates Meta Knight. Fuck Kenny. With passion. <laughs> and then if I win, I play Venom. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. I don't know if I've ever seen you play Venom. I, the last time I played him was at uh, Fancy Smash. Oh, Soiree. And I almost beat him. Ooh, dude, today's the day for an upset. Mm -mm. I'm, oh, I'm honestly really scared for him mm -mm. because that matchup is so ass for Falcon. I honestly think I will <laughs> win if we play. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Dude, I hope so. I hope that gets on stream. But anyway, back to this hype doubles match. We have blue team down by A stock with Zelda lagging behind Chubbs. Mm -mm. But everybody's kind of getting close to losing that third stock. Mm. Oh, can he get Let's the Jose right now. Ooh. Mm, no. Uh, Jose I, actually I, I think Thunders was afraid to hit uh, Chubbs right there. And that's the only reason why yeah. he didn't go for the e finish the edge guard onto Jose right there. Oh my god! Oh, I thought he was gonna hit both of them. <laughs> that was funny, cause like, yeah, he was definitely in the right spot to just slam everyone. <laughs> I thought he was gonna do that. So we're at even stocks. It's just more balance between the red team and Thunders is at 131 percent. So he's at risk of losing this stock base. Oh, he gets grabbed that's by Jose. No, but, but DK's a. Is it his uh, fall speed? It's fall speed. Yeah. Uh, fall speed affects uh, how, just affects how far you get thrown. <laughs> what I do? Yeah. <laughs> weight. Some I don't I don't some throws are weight dependent. I don't I don't know if Ness's back throw is weight dependent. The weight dependent only affects the animation, not the knockback. Okay. That's, That's why okay. you can kill characters like Samus off the top with throws who are incredibly heavy, but they're floaty because weight doesn't matter. Yeah. Only the All fall right. speed. Stop oh trying God, to make me second this? guess myself, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the path to the good life. You always have to question everything, including yourself. <laughs> but this is game three. It's it's, it's, it's true though. And, like, <laughs> and we're all in last stock situation. You gotta I, check yourself. And last game, Thunder's pulled off a two v one when against Red and uh, Jose. It's sort of surprising because Jose is really good at two v ones. But I guess he'll drop two v ones if he goes. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I don't like Red going for Chubbs. He should. I. Th I feel like he should have gone help Jose and two v one uh, Thunders to like try to get rid of his stock. Yeah, because I feel like both of them should do that. Yeah, because Zelda's recovery it'll take a bit to get back to stage, and she's so floaty, so sh she won't get back to stage if she uh, got hit really high up. Yeah, so I you have plenty of time to two v one. Oh, and Jose gets hit with the F smash. I feel like. Oh goodness, this is looking rough. Everyone's at 115-ish. Okay, so in general, Zelda's really good at stuffing approaches, so I don't think it's very good to go for her in doubles at all. Or at least, not at all, but at least prefer to go and double-team her partner. Oh, is this going to be it? No, DK's too, wow. too heavy. Really? I feel like that he could have killed him there. Maybe like a run past back air. All right. What's funny is that Thunders just played Brandendorf at a weekly this Wednesday, and Brandendorf oh. was so close. There it is, down throw the up smash. Game. Jose, Jose fist pumps. Ed Red Ranger. He's very excited. Barely edge out in that set. I think we're gonna go straight to singles now. Fleek versus Taskmaster. Fleek versus Taskmaster.